should I do tonight? I already played with my Ouija board. That was creepy. I heard about something called Bloody Mary. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll Google see how uh, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. Mm, nothing. Maybe, um, maybe if I say it faster. Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> So we're going to start with the dress and this one I found at Goodwill for a couple dollars and needed some adjustments so I just cut small holes in the sleeve and ripped it apart. Because it's a woven fabric it's just going to rip on one thread so it's not going to be uneven and it'll fray a little bit. Then I had a friend help me rip the shoulder out just to give some more wear and tear. And then I also cut a slit up the side of the dress just for easier walking and to make it a little bit more flowy. Now it's time to destroy the dress even further by making it super dirty and this method is really up to you. Uh, I pretty much just rolled around in it and I found the method that works the best is actually removing the dress and rubbing it in the dirt this way because it hurts my body to roll around on rocks. The makeup for this is actually pretty easy, so first I'm just going to take a white cream face paint and put that all over and just to really lighten up the skin and use a mixture of my fingers and a brush to blend it out because it's not like a foundation at all. And then I also made sure to apply this down my neck and on my chest or any areas that would be exposed and I actually recommend doing your hands and feet if they're also going to be exposed. Next I'm going in with this Ben Nye palette, I think it's for bruising, but I'm using the black color to contour the hollows of my cheeks, my temples, around my jawline, just anywhere to make me look like a skeleton basically. Make sure to apply this around your eyes to make them look sunken in as well. I find it's best to make really ugly uh, faces to contour your frown lines and anywhere that you naturally would have wrinkles. So just make these kind of faces and just go for it. I also took some of that black color onto the lips to make them super dark as well. Next you want to contour your neck and chest if they're going to be exposed. So your esophagus, your collarbone, any kind of tendons in your neck just to make them really pop out. Next it's the most disgusting part of all, it's the tooth part, I hate doing this. Uh, I'm using Krylin Tooth Enamel in Nicotine and you can also use a mixture with a black color as well to give a better effect but I only had this one. So you just want to put that kind of in the cracks of your teeth and you're going to be looking super hot so just warning you. Now you want to put in your whiteout contacts or any kind of contacts that you want to use, yellow ones or anything like that, even sclera lenses. And these ones here that I'm using are from Pinky Paradise. I decided to use some stage blood and apply that around my mouth area. For what reason? I don't know. I liked the effect. It really has no purpose. Bloody Mary doesn't eat people. She would usually gouge their eyes out, but for some reason I felt like adding this. I don't know. I 
also decided to crack open a blood capsule and spread that over my forehead and allow it to drip down and basically I just wanted to look like I had my brains bashed in again not relevant to Bloody Mary and hey if you make a mess just wipe it on your gown look at that convenient I wanted to add some darkness up there to really blend it in with my hairline and my hair so I added some of that black color from the Ben Nye palette that just wasn't enough blood for me so I had to pour some of that stage blood over my forehead to really have a super bloody effect. Then you just want to spray your dress with blood. I did this off camera, I'm sorry, and you are good to go to haunt some people in a mirror. Bloody Mary comes home for Christmas. <laughs>